The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. When Jesus Interposes For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figures of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God, for us. Hebrews 9, verse 24 our precious Redeemer standing before the Father as our intercessor. Let those who would meet the divine standard search the scriptures for themselves, that they may have a knowledge of the life of Christ and understand his mission and work. Let them behold him as their advocate standing within the veil, having in his hand the golden censer from which the holy incense of the merits of his righteousness ascends to God in behalf of those who pray to him. Could they thus behold him, they would feel an assurance that they have a powerful, influential advocate in the heavenly courts, and that their suit is gained at the throne of God. What an experience may be attained at the footstool of mercy, which is the only place of sure refuge. You may discern the fact that God is back of his promises, and not dread the issue of your prayers or doubt that Jesus is standing as your surety and substitute. As you confess your sins, as you repent of your iniquity, Jesus takes your guilt upon himself and imputes to you his own righteousness and power. To those who are contrite in spirit, he gives the golden oil of love and the rich treasures of his grace. It is then that you may feel that the sacrifice of self to God through the merits of Christ makes you an infinite value, for clothed in the robe of Christ's righteousness, you become the sons and daughters of God. Those who ask forgiveness in the name of Jesus will receive their request. At the very first expression of penitence, Christ presents the humble suppliant's petition before the throne as his own desire in the sinner's behalf. He says, I will pray the Father for you. Jesus, our precious Savior, could not see us exposed to the fatal snares of Satan and forbear making an infinite sacrifice on our behalf. He interposes himself between Satan and the tempted soul and says, Get thee behind me, Satan. Let me come close to this tempted soul. He pities and loves every humble, trembling suppliant.